in an ideal world, you would have a master filing system that would allow you to file any picture, note, anything into your Mac and be able to find it just as quickly as you put it in. But unfortunately, that's not the real world. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Welcome to another Mac Moment, a series of videos on how to get the most out of your Mac. A lot of tips and tricks. I would hope that you would subscribe. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button. It would mean the world to me. We live in a Google world. If you type in a word or a phrase into a search engine, you get the result right away. Why can't we do the same thing on our Mac? Well, we can. It's called Spotlight. Spotlight was first introduced in 2004, and it has improved with every new rollout, and it can now do so much for you. And yet, a lot of people don't even know it exists, and not a lot of people use it. When you first log in to your computer, Spotlight begins to index everything on your computer. All the metadata gets organized. At the very beginning, that takes a lot of time, but once it is up and running, Spotlight seems to work in seconds. So let's take a look at Spotlight in action. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is launch Spotlight. One of the easiest ways of doing it is going into your upper uh, right menu bar and clicking on the little magnifying glass, and that will launch Spotlight. You can type in any word you want, and quickly you will notice that you'll get results very quickly. So I've searched on Disney, and as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of files, including uh, plans that I have made for our next Disney World trip. This is a link to the website uh, that I registered at. Uh, here is a confirmation for my Disney trip. Uh, these are the expenses I've already accrued for the trip. Uh, and as you can see, it just runs completely down the list, including to things that I have bookmarked along the way. And you can just scroll all the way down and see everything on your computer that has to do with Disney. One thing you'll notice is that uh, it, Spotlight also does quick searches. So even if you hit a few letters of a word, now as you can see right away it made quick suggestions. Everything from disk utility, displayed, displays, Disney, Disney World, and the like. So it's looking for everything that starts with D-I-S. Another thing you can use Spotlight for is if you're searching for music, searching for things on iTunes and in the App Store, all you gotta do is type in what you're looking for or the artist, and now as you can see, it has searched Apple Music to give me uh, a link to music by Bruce Springsteen. And as you saw earlier, it's also searching my, it's also looking at my browser history as well. So let's go back to my Disney example. As you can see, here is my Disney confirmation. If I want to copy an item, I can drag it from the results list to my desktop or to whatever kind of folder window I want. So I can grab this uh, March Vacation PDF, click on it, and pull it out of Spotlight right to my desktop. But hang on, because there's some other really cool things that you can do with Spotlight. And uh, as I said, a lot of people don't even know that Spotlight exists. And even among those who do know it exists, you may not even know these cool uh, options that you have. So let's say I want to convert a, uh, a temperature. I want to convert uh, 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit to centigrade. Boom, I get my answer. Now built into your operating system, you've got a calculator widget, but uh, I found this is very easy too. If you want to do some uh, simple math, uh, you can do things like 25 plus 25, and you get your answer. I can also convert currencies. I can put $100, and now it'll give me all sorts of different conversions 
Uh, the most recent one would be euros. So I've got euros. But I could also ask, what does $100 American convert to in yen? A couple of other things uh, you can do. You can change what Spotlight displays. Here's what you do. Uh, choose the uh, Apple button, the little Apple uh, logo on the top left of your screen. Click on System Preferences. Then click on Spotlight. And as you can see, it will show you all of the things, all of the categories that Spotlight will display. If it has a check mark, those results will be displayed. If it doesn't show, well, the results will not be displayed. So you can, you can uh, make your selections accordingly. You can also hide things from being displayed. You go also back to this uh, uh, menu button, but this time you hit the Privacy tab, and now you can add items to the Privacy tab that you do not want displayed. All you do is you click the Add button on the bottom, it will give you a list of virtually everything on, of your, hard, on your hard drive. You check the item that you don't want Spotlight to search for, and then click Choose. And you can keep doing that over and over again until you have uh, the list in place the way you want it to be. So you may not have a perfect filing system for your Mac, but thanks to Spotlight, your files are not lost on your hard drive. I'm Dave Edwards. Thanks for clicking on my video, and please hit the subscribe button below.